What's up everybody, Arctopotopus here, bringing you a Minecraft zoo, and it's been an incredibly long time. The other zoo was really basic, was just a rectangular shape on a super flat world, pretty boring to look at. Here we got an island, like naturally spawned island. A few modifications were made, so a few world edits were used to make it a little bit better for a zoo, but overall, pretty much a natural area. It's a pr pretty flat area, but it also has some nice little hills and such to it. Pretty cool. And um, here we got a nice man. The homie Teddy is greeting us here today. Oh my gosh, and look at these deals that he has. Let's buy one of these golden carrots. Let's buy a golden apple. And let's buy an excellent diamond sword. I don't know why we're ever going to need one of these, but I guess if one of the hostile mobs gets loose we can deal with it with a diamond sword so let's start with the chickens here these guys they will drop eggs well, i guess they're not guys if they drop eggs so these girls drop eggs um and drop chicken when you kill them over here we have some squids look at these guys just swimming around they drop ink sacks pretty useful if you're trying to dye a sheep or trying to dye any other sort of furniture in your house something like that these squids will get the job done over here we got cows can be milked can also drop beef and leather definitely an essential mob to have in one of your farms over here we got mushrooms they're only spawnable in the um, mushroom biome and they have some good loot. I think they still drop beef, but they can also be milked for mushroom stew with a bowl, I'm pretty sure. Um, and they're just a really cool looking mob, but all are pretty rare because of the rare chance that you will ever find a mushroom biome. Over here we got sheep, also an essential mob to have in one of your farms. You gotta get that wool, and I think they also, do they drop lamb chops now? Let me go check here. Wait, 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 wait. They must. No, no, that's just a mod. Oh no, yes they do. Raw mutton. What am I saying? That They used to not drop mutton when I used to play Minecraft a lot. But now, look here. you got a good food source as well as a great source of wool. I think the wool is the better option there. But if you do need that good food, you can get that mutton. Here's another good mob for farming. Mainly just drops pork chops. I'm pretty sure it only drops, drops pork chops. Excellent mob for farming. Good food source for sure. One of the best. And let's go continue over here to the horses. So you can see this, the horse right here, comes in different colors. You can place a saddle on it. You can place armor on it. Definitely an extremely, extremely useful mob to have for combat, for whatever you want it for. Over here we got donkeys. Really good transportation mob. You can get that chest on the back you can get the saddle go long distances with a lot of stuff and it's great for journeys where you want to collect a lot of equipment mules kind of serve the same purpose except they are created when a donkey and a horse mate um very cool creatures all these are different variants of the horse technically but they have different purposes you know, let's continue over here all the way over to this corner here you can see there's a few different biome types over there one of these is the wolves the wolves are right here they somehow got a chicken a few chickens in there with them rather interesting um but the wolves they can be turned into dogs as you will see in a bit by the use of bones um but naturally they're neutral if you attack them they'll attack you same principle applies to the polar bears if you attack them, they'll attack you back. They drop fish, which is a really useful drop. Um, but other than that, these guys don't have that much purpose. Pretty cool though, for sure. Definitely a nice way to inhabit the colder biomes. And then let's go all the way back over here to the rabbits. Look at these guys. We have a petting zoo full of rabbits. Oh my gosh, there's a ton of different varieties. You have the brown type here. You get the albino type over here with the red eyes. You got the black. 
you got the black and white, you have the gold type, and you have the spotted salt and pepper. Not really spotted, but kind of like salt and pepper, like brown, similar to the other brown, but a little bit different. But very, very similar, for sure. These are all naturally spawning mobs. Can drop you, uh, They drop uh, meat, like rabbit meat, which can be turned into rabbit stew. Pretty cool. And here's the dogs I was talking about. Tameable wolves. They're, um, they behave much differently when they're tamed. They will work for you in every way. They'll kill hostile mobs for you. and Or you, you could just have them sitting in your house like this. And over here we have cats, which are a tamed form of the ocelots over there. And they will sit if you tell them to sit. They will follow you if you tell them to follow you. And they don't serve all that much purpose, but they are definitely a cool mob. Definitely awesome. And I also, I almost forgot these bats over here. You can never forget the nice little bats. Look at them chilling up on the ceiling. I mean, that's pretty much all they do. They, If you're in a cave, they will be flying around, but I think they're just resting right now. Pretty cool mobs, though. They really have no purpose other than decorating the interiors of those caves, but they are pretty cool. I like that they're in the game. Let's go check out these ocelots over here. They're in their natural jungle habitat. That's where you're going to find them. And that's how you get cats. Um, there's not all that much purpose to having a cat, but they're definitely a cool mob if you're just looking for a nice companion. Um, not quite as good as a dog, in my opinion, but definitely a cool mob. So that's pretty much it for this section of the zoo, guys. The normal section, that's it. Let me just make sure. Yeah, that's complete. So if you want to see the other sections, at the end of the video, you'll be provided a nice screen that shows you all the different parts of the zoo. So go ahead and click on those if you want to see the other parts and uh, if you like the video leave a like if you if you want to subscribe go ahead and do that you'll see all my other videos in your subscription box um, go ahead and dislike if you don't like the video and if you think I missed anything go ahead and comment that but make sure to watch all the other sections first in case it's in those other sections um, but Overall, guys, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you all in the next video.